Hi everybody. My name is Aharona. I'm using that name. Um, many people know me by Andrea Brackfeld. This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, you usually may see me with a flute in my hand, but um, today I'm just going to be talking. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been doing a lot of work on myself, and when I say work on myself, I'm talking about um, dealing with issues, dealing with problems, um, dealing with my belief systems, dealing with um, my spirituality, and very deep questions. So I'd just like to talk to you for a few minutes. Um, I don't profess to be any kind of great sage or great guru, just a person. And like I said, I've done a lot of work on myself. So the way I'd like to start this session and perhaps start all the sessions is just by taking a few minutes to take a deep breath, closing your eyes and noticing your breath. So I'm going to do this with you. And you don't need to do anything. You, need, you don't need to change your breath. You don't need to hold your breath. You don't need to move your body, unless of course you feel uncomfortable. And you might hear some noises from the outside. And that's okay, especially if you live in a city, you're going to hear lots of noise, a certain kind of noise. But if you live in the country, you might hear other kinds of noises. So the reason to do this is just kind of to center yourself so you can start focusing inward. Okay, so we all, on a global level, are finding ourselves in a position where we are isolated and we are being forced to not do what we usually do with our time and with our energy. And it's a scary time. But we can change the energy of the time to make it a time where we can reflect and we can start noticing things that perhaps we've never noticed before. I do pray and I do wish and I hope that you are not in a difficult financial position I believe there's a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities that are presenting themselves on a federal level, on a state level, on a city level. And I think it's important for you to reach out and find out the opportunities that are available. I believe that this virus has occurred to teach us something and one of the things it's teaching us is to slow down and to start looking at our lives in a different way. Perhaps to become more giving and grateful. If you look around, you can see everything that's in your environment and be grateful for it. You know, um, I know that if I look at my pantry I probably have enough food there for a couple months. I hope that you're in the same position. Um, from what I've read and what I've seen, it appears as though the virus feeds on fear. I also heard from Greg Braden that's G-R-E-G-G-B-R-A-D-E-N. 
um, who is a scientist and he's also a motivational speaker, he said that the virus is not alive. It needs a live cell to feed off of it and that the virus feeds off of fear. So one of the things that you can do is you can try to change the vibration of your words and your thoughts and your actions. So you're moving more into being grateful and moving more towards love and knowing that you are protected. Now that's kind of on the spiritual level. On a physical level, you can eat lots of fruits and vegetables, drink a lot of water with lemon, um, exercise, do some yoga. That the, All of these are things that you can do in your house. There are so many videos on YouTube that are free that can show you how to do yoga. Um, you can also do certain exercises in your house. You can do sit-ups and you can do push-ups. Um, you can do stretches if you don't want to do yoga. But the point is, is take this time to take care of yourself and look at your environment and take advantage of what you have in your environment. Perhaps you have inspirational books, perhaps you have books that you really love, perhaps you have candles, perhaps you have oils, essential oils, things that smell good. All of this can help you raise your vibration. So the purpose of this video was to keep it very short and I have no idea what's gonna happen after this. Um, I wanted to keep it until about seven minutes. So we're pretty much at the threshold. And I'm thinking about doing this once a week. So I hope that you have a great week and be well, be safe and take care of yourself. Okay. Bye.